My name is Dr. Marco Griefer. I'm the Chief Medical and Technology Officer for Nanobasic Medical Technologies. In a couple of weeks, we're going to be deploying the Zoe Fluid Monitor as part of the NASA NEMO 21st mission um, down off the coast of Key Largo. The Zoe Fluid Monitor is a bioimpedance monitor. It uses a technique called base impedance to measure the fluid status or hydration status of patients, or in this case, astronauts, as part of the NEMO mission. The technology works by applying a small current to the body. We have a known voltage and then we measure the resistance or impedance to actually go and detect changes in fluid status. And effectively the way it works is the higher the number, the drier the patient, the lower the number, the wetter the patient. The NEMO mission takes place on board the Aquarius Undersea Laboratory, which is the world's only underwater research station. We are sending a group of six astronauts, researchers and crew members to live and work underwater for eight days. Um, I'll be down for eight days, some of the astronauts will be down for two weeks. And the whole concept of this mission is to be able to test new techniques, new procedures, technologies for future spaceflight missions, going back to the moon, possibly an asteroid, or maybe someday going to Mars. We're going to be using the Zoe Fluid Monitor to monitor the fluid status and hydration levels of each of the aquanauts twice a day. What this will allow us to do is give us some kind of feedback in relation to helping to optimize their fluid status and then feeding that into how does that affect their performance. One of the key components of this is we can use technology development and opportunities like this in relation to working with NASA and the astronauts and then apply those lessons learned to improving this technology for domestic medical patients, improving the technology for how we monitor home healthcare patients, heart failure patients, patients undergoing dialysis. The key components of this FDA cleared technology is that it provides a portable, objective, ergonomic and repeatable index for fluid status that allows us to provide a predictive index for fluid. This is so important because so many of these patients end up back in the hospital as a result of fluid overload. This allows us to provide a predictive index that will anticipate in advance before that fluid overload actually becomes a clinical problem and helps us keep them out of the hospital, improve their quality of life and decrease these unnecessary readmissions into hospitals.